เดี๋ยวผมจะเล่นตรงนี้แล้วกันเนาะแล้วก็มันจะเป็นโฟล์อันเนี้ยโฟล์ที่สองอะซึ่งซีทีมตายอันนี้เลือกคิวทีมเลือกฉีดเนาะพอฉีดปุ๊บเนี่ยมีรากกลายเป็นบ้าฆ่าเอริกตายแล้วก็เอามีดปักคิวอะแต่เหมือนคิวจะไม่ตายนะเพราะมันไม่ได้ประกาศเชื่อแล้วก็นี่เสร็จกดปุ่มเนาะถ้ากดก็ตายกันหมดแต่ถ้าไม่กดเนี่ยมีร่าเนี่ยจะไล่ฆ่าทุกคนเลยสรุปตอนนี้ก็คือเหลือมีร่ากับคิว Huh? Why am I the only one here? Hey, Mira, uh, Eric. Now announcing the current casualties: C T, Carlos, Akane, Junpei, Q Team, Eric, D Team, Diana. Alive right now. I remember being stabbed by a scalpel. Do you truly wish to know? Zero. I suggest you come to the quantum computer now. Everything will be explained there. Quantum computer dome. Test me, I suppose. You are welcome to kill me now, if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I, I, I want to know the truth. Very well. Oh. Spare bodies. My spare. They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional deeds. No. Then, then I'm. Precisely, you are not human. The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. 
Your thought center is there, within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Then me not having any memories... Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, then... What's this? This? I know there's something here. It's warm, and it feels like it has a presence. Hmm. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease, and lost his life at the age of ten. Who was he? He was called Sean. The same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. I see. Then... I'm just... a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension, and they may be thinking from there. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. If this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebrum physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um, can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? I... I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy, Sean. What? Uh, what do you mean? There will be no more. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Yeah, what's wrong? Play the game. The decision game. Why? The game's already over. That is in regards to the others. You are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Your choices should be obvious. Press it, or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer there retains all of the data that makes you uniquely you. Memory, personality, how you think and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that is strictly within the world of simulation. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy 
have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your existence splits in two. One of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. Then what happens if I don't want to push it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted without a trace. There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means your existence will be erased and you will receive a complete death. A... Uh, a complete death? I'm not going to press the button. Your fate has narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it and welcome complete death. You only get two options, however. To press this button or to refuse. What will you decide? You have ten seconds. Ten seconds, and your future will be forever altered. I... I... My God, come on again. Is your decision then? It's fine. I just want you to end it. I see. Then, farewell. No idea. Okay. 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 Okay.
Sean, you're awake. Where am I? W what am? Your surgery was a success. Your illness is completely gone now. Mom? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you all right? Oh, uh, I think I must have had a really bad dream. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? Yeah, we got to start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready. Make sure to eat up. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie. And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks. Yay! Hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my gosh! The game system I always wanted! And hmm. all the books I've ever wanted to read. You fought really hard against your illness. So you deserve a reward. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time. And every day is fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. ตอนเซฟทำไมไม่มีลูกของขวัญขึ้นนะ In that virtual space, I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? I have an old story to tell you. A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed. So books were his only friends. The boy had a special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However, life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The boy just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. 
And that dream is finally... Well, what are you talking about? The universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. What? Traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, what are you saying? Let's see. ยังไงรหัส6 1 4 0 4 0 9 1จบไว้ก่อนอะไรเนี่ย6 1 4 0 4 0 9 1โอเค be sure you remember that number. A time will come when it will be handy. Yeah. No way. ก็อย่างที่ซีโร่บอกเนาะคือเป็นแค่โปรแกรมคอมพิวเตอร์กลับไปตอนที่เอริกจะยิงSuspicious. No, it's because I'm not human that I can't be. What do you mean? My blood? It's white. Not red. So what? Remember how <laughs> Mira had some skin and blood under her nails? Wait, well I guess you wouldn't because of the memory loss, but... No, no, you're right. When I tried to revive Mira, I took a look at her. Then you realized, I think the skin and blood is that of the killer. Before Mira died, 
I think she did her best to resist. I see. I... I suppose you're right then. You didn't kill her. But no! It doesn't change the fact that you existing is suspicious! I mean, come on! Why is a robot here? Well... Because Zero brought me in. What the...? Zero created me so I could support him in this game. I knew it! Wait, Eric! Out of my way! I'm gonna kill him! Please, just calm down, Eric! Shut up! If what he said is true, then he would be able to tell us who Zero is! Do you... know? Fine. If you know, then tell me right now who the real Zero is! What's the name of the bastard who locked us up and forced us to take part in this messed up game? Zero... Zero's name is... Hello, boy. Hello, man. Stop it. My life. What? I said Mira. Hmm. How dare you? You dare insult my angel? My Mira? Uh, I didn't mean that. Shut the hell up! Just kill all of you! I'm... I'm coming to you, Mira. เดี๋ยวผมจะเล่นตรงนี้ต่อนะก็คือว่าเส้นทางที่2เนี่ยทีม C ตายหมดเลยแล้วก็มาเลือกอยู่ตรงนี้ก็คือทีม Q แล้วว่าฉีดไหมก็คือไม่ฉีดพอไม่ฉีดปุ๊บมันก็มีไวรัส radical s i c k เก็บไว้เนาะแล้วก็ไปที่ทีม D ทีม D ตอนระเบิดเนี่ยก็ได้น่าจะเรียกว่าหนีหรือว่าไม่หนีถ้าไม่หนีแดนหน้าก็ตายแต่ถ้าหนีเนี่ยคนที่จะไปกู้ระเบิดก็คือซิกมาแล้วก็ซิกมาเนี่ยก็จะแขนขาดเนาะแต่ไงคือระเบิดก็ระเบิดอยู่ดีก็คือทีมคิวเนี่ยตายหมดเลยแต่ว่าก่อนตายเนี่ย
มิราเนี่ยฉีดไวรัสเข้าไปที่ชื่ออะไรนะชื่ออะไรนะที่ใส่แว่นเสาแว่นไฟเออแล้วก็ผมจะมาต่อตรงนี้มันน่าจะต่อเส้นทางนั้นนะ่ะไม่ใช่ไม่ช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ This is Ward D. What the hell is? Oh, what happened? And he's a bird, n e Oh, I better get a c o n e My guess is that something exploded. Exploded? A bomb went off in the decontamination room. Who do that? Unauthorized escape. Do you get it? D team set the bomb. Oh, and that's how the ceiling collapsed in that room. But why is it now completely buried in sand? Ah, uh, the ceiling probably gave in a little while after they escaped. Oh, Jesus! The history where I'm alive and you are dead. Seems you found your way here safely. Zero. As promised, the important information. First, Akane, the history you find yourself in is that one. What? No. The first radical six patients have left. They should reach the hospital shortly. The pandemic is unavoidable now. The virus is spreading all over the world. That's a damn lie. It has to be. No, it is the truth. Free the soul's plan is progressing smoothly. Then that's got to mean you're that cult's. Correct. I am the founder of Free the Soul. Many call me brother. You. Bastard! Come on, Anna. Brother. <laughs> Thanks to your shitty dream, six billion people will. Don't be mistaken. If we do nothing now and let time pass, an even worse future awaits. A religious fanatic will trigger a nuclear war. With a terrorist attack, eight billion, all of mankind will perish. Unfortunately, the fanatic's identity is unknown. Therefore, I decided to kill six billion people. Why? By doing so, I will have a 75% chance that they are among the virus's casualties. To tell the truth, history has proven me right. So, to kill one person, you'll sacrifice six billion? It is to save two billion people. 
And that's how you used Radical Six. You don't believe that's the ethical choice? What? Uh, of course I don't! Is that all you think human lives are worth? Do you feel nothing as you kill off a whole bunch of innocent people? But that's just the way of life. Sinner or innocent, people will die or be killed in an unjust manner. Like your parents, Akane Kurashiki. Wh what are you talking about? Your father was sentenced to death for a crime he didn't commit. In grief, your mother killed herself. No! That's wrong! My parents were involved in an accident! You were likely told that, but it is a lie. What I shared just now is the truth. No! Think about it. If your father hadn't been falsely accused, how different your life would have been. You'd never have been involved in that child abduction case ten years ago. And clearly, the incident a year ago would not have happened either. And of course, Junpei. The path you've walked during your life would have been completely different too. The smallest things have a drastic effect on a person's life. As I said, that's just the way it is. But that doesn't mean that you have free reign to just mess with the lives of people like that! Only God decides who lives and who dies! Oh, to think you of all people would invoke God. Very well. I will let you see the true God that we believe in. You, of course, see the clothing laying on the bar counter. The evening of April 12, 2029. Wear those and take part in our ceremony. There, I shall tell you the secrets of the world. There's no way I'd ever go! No, <laughs> you will most definitely come. Well, that is, if you manage to escape the shelter. Just watch. I'll get out soon. Of course we will. Diana's bringing back a rescue team. Do they even have any reason to believe that the two of you are alive? If there is no rescue, then the remainder of your lives will carry out at this sacred site. Sacred site? This is the sacred site where the birth of brother, founder of Free the Soul, occurred. Are you saying you were born here? Yes, but raised elsewhere. The moment we were born, we were transferred to the past via the transporter. Back to April 1904. <gasps> 1904? Wait, did you just say we? Yes. Do you mean your little brother? It's true. I had a younger brother, but we were not related by blood. He was the son of the couple who raised me. Then... Let me clarify. My we is referring to my younger sister. You know this person very well. Ah, it appears I've spoken too long. But I will impart to you something very important. The spell to open Pandora's box. We were ordered. Remember these words well. It will come in handy someday. We wait, Odie? It's Latin. Live for today.
Uh, I wonder what's happened to Carlos. Maybe he won't be coming. Uh, why would you say that? Maybe... Maybe nobody's going to come to save us. Like Zero said, Diana and the others probably don't know we're alive in here. It'll just be us two, in this place, forever. No... I think there's someone else. Or maybe... More like something. Gab! Oh, I'm glad you're safe. Hey, look. Isn't there something in his collar? This is... Anagram? Oh, yeah, um, that's when you rearrange the letters of a word or phrase. But we need to know the sentence to work from. The original sentence, huh? Oh, hey, uh, Akane, do you remember the Ward C Lounge? Yes. What did it say on the wall? I think it was. Let the game end where I treat two. Can we make any other phrases using all the letters from that? Um. Uh... Well, it's not perfect, but together with me, we are ten. But if that's what it is, there are leftover letters. How many? Five extra letters. L, D, A, E, T. The thing is, I don't know what word I could make out of them. But what could together with me, we are ten, mean? It could be saying, if you're with me, then there are ten of us. Ten? I mean... There are plenty of other ways to read. Where are you going, Junpei? Hey, why isn't Q on this board? Why? Well, because he's not dead. Wait, he he's still alive? I think so. Huh, Q is alive. We are ten. What? No. Oh. Sorry about the wait. Well, I guess I was the one who waited. I promised, didn't I? That I'd come back for you. Wait, are you? Hey, Junpei, Akane, I'm here to save you. So, let me get this straight. You, you shifted to the history where you pushed the yellow button. I can't leave with you guys. Huh? I made a promise in another history. 
that I'd definitely save you two. Then you went back in time ten months by activating the unused transporter? So you guys would be able to transport to this history. I needed ten months to charge the device again after I used it. <laughs> and then you just... waited? For a long time. That's right. Mm -hmm. You didn't think of stopping Zero's plan? If I did that, then I couldn't have met you guys, right? That was one hell of a thing you did. Huh? Do you know what happened because of you? Mira and Eric died. Sigma lost his arms and an eye, and he's in the hospital! That's not all. Zero said... The first Radical Six patients... have left. It's... it's too late. We can't stop the spread of the virus. What happened today... is going to result in six billion people. This is the end. I have to start over from the beginning. Start over? We'll start now and spend the next 45 years preparing for my plan. Y you have a plan? In 45 years, I'm going to call Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the future. We must do it. Or, we can't save all those people. Uh, I'll help you, Akane. Let me join Crash Keys, or, or whatever you're calling it. I can't do that. Why? I'm going to need you to forget everything you know, Junpei. What? I'm really sorry. Ah! Hey, hey, Akane! No, you... You, you can't be... Why? Junpei, I will never forget you. But please, forget me. You need to forget. No, I don't want to. I'll never forget. No matter what happens, I won't. I... I won't. Akane, why? I do what I must to accomplish my goals. That is just how I am. Even if that means I must lose my life, I... I swear I'll make the AB project a success. ทีนี้ก็มาถึงชื่อจริงของซีโร่เราต้องไปเล่นรูทนี้เนาะรูทสุดท้าย D ทีมตายเริ่มที่ยังไงจุนเพตายคาลอสค่าอากันเนะคิวหรือชอนเนี่ยตอบเอริกว่าไม่รู้ว่าใครฆ่ามิร่าเข้าไปไหนเนี่ยเ
้แล้วยูดีก็เปิดชื่ออะไรนะที่เป็นหัวหน้าวอร์ดเดนน่ากับซิกมาก็เปิดประตูมาได้เอริกกลายเป็นบ้าเนาะคือจะฆ่าคนนั้นคนนี้แล้วก็ไปที่อันนี้ก็เปิดรหัสหมวกกันน็อกได้โอเคแล้วก็ถามว่าใครคือซีโร่หรือว่าซีโร่จะเป็นอ่าลูกของซิกมากับแดนน่าเพราะบอกว่ามีน้องสาวด้วยโอ้มาจากไหนเนี่ยโลนซาเขาเดินนี่คนนี้ทั้งหมดเดินอืมอืมคุณเป็นคนที่ถูกต้องแล้วชาร์มมิวเรียลชื่อคือเดลต้าเขาพูด I thought you were supposed to be deaf. Okay, and here we are. All of you will be living together here in the decom facility. Um, the the old man in the wheelchair too. Uh huh. His name is Q. It should be obvious, but he can't walk. What's more, he can't see or hear either. He can't hear. Nope. But then why? Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. Put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we get out. So, you're saying it was all a lie? And your eyes? This is. There are a large variety of security cameras in place throughout the shelter. A feed of all the footage is fed in, and they all appear there. So you used that to spy on us the whole time. Yes, I did. However, it is limited to those histories, 
where I am alive. Alive? Histories? Hey, Sigma! Go take off his clothes! Huh? Just hurry and do it! There is no need. This is what you wanted to see, correct? You bastard! Hold on, don't do it, Eric! If you shoot, we won't be able to ask him anything. So, was it you who killed Junpei too? No. Mira was the one who did that. Hmm? What? She was, in a sense, a collaborator. She was a necessary element of my plan. But it wasn't that I gave her a specific set of orders. I simply let her roam free and do as she pleased. Oh, I did exempt her from the drug injections. Then why? Why'd you kill Mira? She's a serial killer. The Heart Ripper. Many innocent people lost their lives because of what she's done. I only gave her her due punishment. What? What are you talking about? Stop bullshitting me! It's the truth. In another history, you and Diana and Sigma were all murdered by her. Shut up! You're just making shit up! I will never believe you! There's no way my angelic Mira would ever... No, Eric! Don't shoot! We haven't asked him everything yet! Shut up! I don't care! The X door will never open again! It'll open. Of course it will. What? Uh, so, should we ask him how? Right. The old man. Delta. I see. I get it now. We need this boy. I mean, Sean. He needs to get direct access to the central control computer. Is that right? Uh, but... What? To connect to it directly, I need to extend a cable from my neck and plug it into the console jack that's inside. But, well... It looks like the cover is shut. Yeah. We would need to open this first. What's the code? Code? Don't play dumb. The code to open the damn cover. It's 38080832. Don't stop break on. Oh, it's a damn big crop. Nay, Leung Hong. Q. Sam Pat Soon Pat Soon Pat Sam Song It opened. Now we just need to extend the cord and connect it. Okay. It's ready. Just wait a sec. I'll open the X. No, no, 
I... My... my hand just... I have no more use for this history. There's only one thing left to do. No! Wait! Don't... Oh. มันบอกว่าไงนะมอมใช่ไหมแม่อ่ะเออ